Hey guys, it's Armfro here. Sorry I haven't been uploading a mix of Diablo 3, um, Summer School, and just I cannot find a good battle. But this is a very good match versus my good friend Hydro. Um, he's using a <laughs> such multi weather team is not even funny. I'm gonna leave my glitch score. I'm not gonna like this set, this matchup, so I'm gonna switch into my Ruto, my Jellicent, as he goes for the Ice Beam, which is a good play, but you know what? He gets the freeze, which kind of sucks, but you know what? I, it doesn't really matter because I am going to thaw out the first turn. He's going to go for a hidden power grass, I do believe. It's not going to do too much. So I thaw out first turn, go for the toxic, which is going to make this Politoed a lot easier and one just weather weather maker, I guess you would say, a lot easier to take care of. But rain is is the um, weather that I want to use or want to have out just because uh, my Ferrothorn is going to be a lot easier to stay alive in the in the rain because it neutralizes the fire. So he's I'm gonna go in my Ferrothorn just to actually predict either if he has flamethrower, the rain's gonna neutralize it. So I'm actually just gonna go I'm pretty sure for the Leet Seed here. Actually as he switches into his nine tails. No, I go for the spikes. Just sit on my entry hazards. Um as here I'm just gonna have to switch into my Jellicent just to take the fire blast. Um I know if anyone's going to take this guy, I know Ruto is. He's going to go for the Solar Beam. I'm actually really surprised because I have seen a lot more with Energy Ball lately. It's not good. It's going to do a little less than half. I'm going to go for the Skull to see how much damage it's going to do. With the Sun, it's not going to do jack. So here I cannot stay in as I'm just going to switch into my Zapdos. Half as Death Fodder, half to see how much the Solar Beam is going to do to me. This is the time where I was just wondering what is the last Pokemon I'm going to use on my team because Zapdos seemed like the best option but after this battle I realized that Zapdos is not that good in OU. He's, the plus one uh, stab sun boosted fire blast is going to almost take out my guy as I get the discharge the paralyze on the discharge which isn't going to matter too much but I'm actually going to switch into my Ruto as he actually switches into his Obama Snow. Half is switching in, predicting a Thunderbolt or a Discharge, and half because the hail would have taken out my my uh, Zapdos. But here, I'm just going to switch into my Saria, just, predi just predicting the Wood Hammer, as it's not going to do jack, plus the Iron Barbs is going to hit him back, and the Recoil. So it's not looking good for him. He pretty much has to switch, as I'm probably just going to go for the T... No, I'm going to go for the uh, second layer of spikes just to set them up on, on this guy. Just because this Ninetales, I wanted to switch out as much as possible just to get the spikes damage racking up on him. As here, I'm just going to switch into my Zapdos. Again, predicting um, a Fire Blast just, just as Death Fodder. As he switches into his Abomasnow, which is very interesting. But to say the least... My Zapdos is going to live a hail hit, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he'll live with 3 HP, but still going to live it. I'm actually going to predict the Ice Shard as um, I switch into my Scizor, but he actually goes for the Hidden Power Fire. Um, with the Hidden Power Fire, it is going to take me out. It's not going to take me, my Scizor out, but the hail will finish me off. So it kind of sucks because my Scizor is completely gone. Here, I'm going to switch to my Scarf Lucario as I'm going to go for the Close Combat. Easily going to take out the Bomb of Snow. Hail is really annoying against my team, so it's really good that I took him out right now. So here, he's going to switch into his Starmie. No, his Politoed. As, you know what? I'm tempted to just go for the close combat, but I'm pretty sure it won't kill. I don't want to get scalded on my guy, plus a minus two special defense. I wouldn't have taken it very nicely. So I'm going to switch to my Saria. He actually predicts my switch and switches into um, Starmie, which is a decent matchup for me because I could just go for the Power Whip. As he goes into his T-Tar, as I'm pretty sure I just go for the last layer. No, I go for the Lead Seed just to see if he does have the Hidden Power Fire, just to see um, how much it's going to do to me. So, right here, the Leech Seed, I'm actually scared of it because I've seen a lot of T-Tars with Fire Blast, so I'm actually going to switch my Yami Yugi as Death Fodder again as he actually switches, sets up his Stealth Rocks, and right here, I'm actually going to go for the Roost. I'm a, I'm a purely defensive Zapdos, so I know I can take a Stone Edge after Roost because it's not going to be super effective. And the Leap Seed is going to rack up, so the Sandstorm is not going to affect me that much. So I'm going to go for the Roost as he switches into his Blissey. It's not going to like the stealth, the Spikes as the Roost is going to bring me up to a really good amount of HP. And 
I'm actually just going to go for the Roost again, because I can't think of a move that he does that actually is going to affect me that much. So, I mean, the worst is Toxic, but again, the Zapdos is pretty much on my team right now just to take hits. So he's going to go for the Aromatherapy. It just... The one thing I am worried about is just that Politoed is not toxic anymore. But um, here, I'm actually just going to go over the Discharge, predicting a switch either into Politoed. No, I actually switched into, into Saria. My bad. Stupid. Her, 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 her. This was a, law, a battle from a long time ago. So he's going to switch into his Politoed, um, either predicting a Discharge or like a Heat. I don't even know what he was predicting, but you know what? I like this matchup because I do have the power whip. He's actually going to go for the Focus Blast as I set my last layer of spikes, which is really nice. And I know I can take at least one Focus Blast as he actually goes for the Hidden Power, Ice, or Grass. It's, it's Grass because it's not very effective. As I go for the Lead Seed because I know one Focus Blast is going to do about 50% to me. Um, and I know with the Lead Seed I will be able to take two easily just to make sure that I can take one. So right here, I'm going to go for the Power Whip as he actually goes for the Focus Blast, gets the crit, and that's going to easily take out my, my Ferrothorn, which really sucks. Um, and so right here, I'm actually going to switch into my Zapdos just because threaten him out with the Discharge. I know I could, I'm actually going to go for the Discharge because anyone on his team that's going to get paralyzed is just a very good chance for me. So here, I'm actually going to go for the Discharge. I'm pretty sure I do get the, yep, I get the Para. And here, I really cannot do anything except for going for the discharge again. So I'm actually going to switch into my Lucario as he gets the Parahax on the switch. Um, I'm not pretty sure. Actually, I'm pretty sure that matter because here I actually go for the crunch. And that because of the Parahax, it, I am going to take him out with the crunch. And that makes him not be able to switch into anything else but Starmie. So I could take him out with the crunch because I am scarfed. Um... If he did get the soft boil up, I just wouldn't have gone for the close combat. So, here, I cannot stand because I am stuck in a crunch. I'm going to switch to my Gliscor. Pretty, sh pretty safe, assuring that he doesn't have the Ice Beam. As he goes for the crunch, I take that I take that very easily. And here, I'm actually going to set up my Stealth Rocks just because that Nine Tails is just a pain in my ass. As he switches into his Politoed, which is completely perfect to me. So, he gets the rain up. And I'm going to set up that Stealth Rocks. As here, I'm just going to switch into my Ruto because that's that's the most safe thing that could take any water attack or an ice attack. Um, Ruto is pretty much my saving grace on this team. So um, <clears throat> I am going to take the Ice Beam. And after the Ice Beam, I'm pretty sure I could take a Hidden Power unless he crits me again, which would really suck. But it would be just part of the game. It doesn't really, wouldn't really matter if my Ruto dies, but you know what? I'm going to go with the Recover. I live with 53 HP, and I get that, that amazing Recover. I get a whole lot of HP back, and I know <clears throat> he can't really stay in here that much, so I'm actually going to go with the Recover to see what he actually is going to switch into. He switches into his Ninetales, which is not going to take the Stealth Rocks or the Spikes very well at all, and I'm pretty sure I just go for the Recover again. Yep, as here... Again, for the third and pretty sure final time, I'm going to switch into my Zapdos as Death Fodder just to see if he's if he could just take me out as, as, so I could switch into something safely. Because um, pretty much all I need to do is just let my Zapdos die so I can bring in my Lucario and sweep with the close combat. So here, I'm just going to stay in until I die because he really cannot do anything. I mean, my knight, my Lucario is Scarf, so no matter what he does, unless he has a random agility, um, I can take him out very easily. So he's pretty much going on a losing battle here. So I'm going to switch into my Edward just to see if he would do anything. It doesn't really matter. It's Death Fodder anyways, as the plus two stab sun-boosted fire blast is going to easily take out my guy. So all I'm going to do here is just send him my Lucario, Go for that close combat, and power in the kiss are going to take out the Nine Tails, and all he does have is his T Tar and his Politoed, and after the Stealth Rocks and the Spikes, the Politoed is will not be able to take a close combat. So, even in the rain, close combat is going to easily take him out. Wait, the rain doesn't matter. Whatever. And all he has left is his T Tar, and that is going to be a four times effective hit. So even at full HP, it wouldn't take it at all, <clears throat> but the st st spikes and self-rock help, but that's going to be a very good game, Hydro, uh, 
hope you guys like this battle. I am going to upload more often. I'm going to do my LP more. So check out that. Remember to sign up for my tournament. Um, it's going to be up. The round one's going to be up soon. So sign up while you can. And thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. And as always, stay classy.